Hey guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina. Wanted to show you real quickly one of my favorite knots. This is what we call a nail knot. It's uh, kind of my go-to knot for any terminal tackle, whether I'm tying on a swivel, tying on a hook, or anything really. Uh, it's not a line-to-line -line knot, and the only other time that I don't use this knot is if I'm going to double snell a hook, or if I'm going to use a loop knot, if I was throwing a jig, uh, or using it for maybe a uh, knocker rig setup. This nail knot is what I use to tie 99.9% .9 of all my terminal tackle. And it's a really easy, quick, simple knot that is super strong. So I'll show you how to tie it real quick. All you do is put the line through the eyelet of the hook or the swivel or whatever you're tying, and you pull out about six to eight inches of tag line. The reason why you want a lot of tag line is because you're gonna need a lot of tag line to wrap around your thumb and the main line. So your main line's coming out straight out of your thumb and your tag line's coming out at a 90 degree angle. And what you do is you reach underneath your main line, grab your tag line, and you wrap around your thumb. You'll notice here I have my thumb protruding in front of my forefinger. That makes this knot a little easier. And also as far as setup goes, you wanna make sure that you pinch the top of your swivel or your hook eye and make sure that your tag line is coming out at a 90 degree angle and your main line is coming out of the tip of your thumb. So you reach underneath your main line, grab that tag line, wrap it around your thumb once, and then you just hold it in place and since you're already pinching the eyelet of the hook, you just pinch that tag line to hold it. You wrap it around twice, pinch it again, wrap it around a third time. Sometimes you gotta push back the line a little bit. Now you've wrapped it around three times. You've wrapped it around the main line and your thumb. Once you do this, you're ready to finish the knot. I always, a quick tip, I always wrap it around my thumbnail. Uh, that way it's easy to pull these three loops off your finger. Once you've got those three loops pulled off, your main, your tag line is in the front of those three loops. So all you do to finish the knot is put the tag line through the back of those three loops. Now you can see here, I'll let go of the knot so you can see clearly, it's basically three loops around the main line and around the tag line. And all you do is tighten those three loops down by pulling on both. Now this is a clinch knot, a type of clinch knot, so you gotta get it wet get it moist that way when you clinch down that line it's not going to in interrupt the integrity of the knot now this is the strongest knot around in my opinion and all you have to do to finish this knot is go ahead and clip off the tail end or the tag end of the knot and you're ready to fish it makes it super easy to clip it off close to the knot and that is a nail knot that is what i prefer when using any type of terminal tackle it's that simple. Remember, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy.